heading to the fresh market now. And this morning I feel like I need some salmon, smoked salmon um, with cream cheese and bagels. So I'm, I'm gonna go get some, all right? And this is the fresh market and it's one of my favorite place to come. And I usually come for the coffee. And so yeah, I'm gonna go get some over by the seafood section in a little while. But first, I have to get myself some coffee. Morning guys. These are new, right? The Costa Rican is new? It's not new. We, we, we're making it, uh, but... It's been here. It's been here since uh, we opened years ago. We just don't do it all soon enough. Oh, okay. Yep, I'm gonna get my coffee fixed, guys. So this one, that's, that's my new favorite. Yes, that's my new favorite, see there? And they give you, they allow you to get, you know, samples as you shop. And I promise you, that's my favorite. Mm -mm. Oh wow, tastes so good. Mmm, mmm. The taste of the amaretto, mm, wow. Mm -mm. That one is really good. Really good, guys. All right, let me go back to what I came here for before it, it gets too late. Yes, I am here for. Let me get. Let me grab a, a sweet onion because I'm gonna need a sweet onion. Just one. And the onion, let me explain. The in here, let me tell you the truth. The price up here in here is a little bit dearer than normal. Right? But it, it, it will worth it if you if you know what you want and you plan for go for what you want. It's worth it. Let me see if I get a, a little cheap onion. Because, yeah, you have to know what you want, you see me? All right, that is about half a pound. A little bit over half a pound. So, yeah, one single onion. You can make a sliced onion from bagel. Do you understand? Yeah. You put the onion in right there, so. I'm put my bag for the onion right there, so. And... Then I go over, look at this, wow, fresh cranberries in a water. It, I'm, I'm way early still. And there is what I'm going for. Yes, see the price? $19 a pound. Mm -hmm. That's what I want. All right, there is nobody here. Let me go get the bagels. And then I'll be back. Now this is the day after Christmas, so the store is a little bit, and, and I'm early, so the store is a little bit empty, and I'm just gonna see if they have fresh bagels. Yes, they have fresh bagels, right there. So, I'm all the way live, guys. I'm gonna get my bagels, and I'm just taking the plain bagel, because the, everything bagel have a tendency to be salt, so I'm going to take the plain bagel, my onion, and I'm going to get, you see it up there, sir? You see it, my Nova Bites? Let me zoom in. Nova Bites. That's the one I'm getting, guys. Yeah, that one. All right, which is the same as the smoked salmon, but it's just the bits, more the bits, right? Now, this one is very good as well. This Atlantic smoked salmon is not bad as well. But again, the price too dear. The white fish is good. You could have used the white fish if you want to do what we were going to do this morning. But I'm going to get the Nova Bites, right? $11 a pound, I'm going to get about $5 worth. And I'm going to do my thing when I reach home. I'm going to make some smoked salmon with bagels and cream cheese, but I'm going to add some jerk seasoning to flavor it up a little bit. Kick it up a little much. Yes, yes, yes. So 
I'm waiting on the young lady to come come help me and we start out. Alright, so so me get me get five dollar words. Yeah. It look a bit but hey, we have to work with it. See? Me, me a blog. See my friend, I'm friend. Say big up. Uh, uh, big up, big up. All the pure Jamaican Michelle. people them. Michelle, Jamaica, right? Yes, Michelle from <laughs> Jamaica in Fresh Market. And yeah. Go on do your thing, Michelle. Blessing. Yeah, me, me, me. That one yeah, let me taste that one there. No, the the piece, the salmon, the real salmon. Yeah, wait, Niam. Lord Jesus, that the big word. They may not know them the word. Okra roast. Okra roast. Okra roast. Yeah, okra roast. This is the best one. Eh? I can't afford that. Too expensive. At this now, you get to taste it. Nice little stories. And I have my bagels. Right? And as I said before, I got the plain bagels. And I have some whipped cream that I got from Aldi. And of course, I have my salmon and my Vidalia onion yeah all right so me go, first thing I go do me go slice my bagels then so that I can toast them all right and my hands are clean and I'm just gonna slice this bagel try slice the bagel good and them bagels are fresh I like bagels them where I feel like the outside of the bagel is nice and crusty you know and the inside is so soft and like regular dumpling like Jamaican dumpling gummy yeah gummy all right so let's slice the bagel then so you can you know me not to really tell you how to slice bagel because <laughs> if you don't know how to slice bagel you need to steal with a knife <laughs> you know but as I said, um, this is not a, a dish that, a, a, you know, a food item that many Jamaicans um, gravitate to, as far as I know. Um, so we are, we are push it up a little bit. You understand? Let me get the jerk. All right. So I'm going to get some coconut spread. See? Earth balance organic coconut spread. And I'm going to put this on it. And me use the, the, the coconut spread instead of um, butter guys and it's work out it more a little bit more healthier you know so I just put the coconut spread onto my bagel and then you see true the wife never really too like the butter argument because you know she's much more a health buff than I am so this with this I get the opportunity to you know do what I want so I'm gonna put this now I'm gonna put this in the, in the toaster oven make it toast up for about three minutes and then, and then I am going to work on my cream cheese. Me have to do my cream cheese um, fusion right here now. Okay. So to this little container, I'm going to wash and clean that. I'm going to add some of the cream cheese. And I'm using the whipped cream cheese. You can use whatever cream cheese you like. All right. And I, as I said, I just want to give it a little bit of flavor. And that's where the Caribbean wool idea come in. I have this that I love so much. It's a Caribbean Savories Honey Jerk Dip, right? And it's a jerk dip. It's, it, it's very, very, uh, it's spicy, you know? But may I go use a little bit of it, uh, just a small amount, to spruce up my, my cream cheese. The wife, the wife and I really like the pepper, so... You know, I'm pepper up too much, you know. So, see there? You can do it to your taste. Of course, you, you know, you, you add more based on the amount that you, you're catering to. And the next thing I'm going to add is some honey. And I'm using this, the Keys Bees Honey. And trust me, guys, this one is very good. Raw honey from Florida Keys. And I am fully 100% endorse that company. All right. And you pretty much just want to blend this, you know, get the cream cheese popping. And make sure it's fully blend. And you're good to gizzle. Yes. Oh, it looks see. You want to taste it? Hmm? You afraid? Wow, 
Me and Tia said first. Mm -hmm. Then you yeah. know if it's too or one spicy for me. It's not got too spicy, I promise you. It's not got too spicy. I'm going to taste a little bit. Perfecto. Perfecto. Taste a little bit. See? Mm -hmm. And it go nice with the smoked salmon. I squeeze a little bit of lemon. Nice, right? nice. Squeeze a little bit of lemon. Lemon, Just to, lemon, lemon. Just to get that little kick there. Yes, sir. See that? And the next thing I'll be doing, I could put a little bit more cream cheese on it. Just to balance it out a little bit, but I could stay let it stay for the time being. You know I'm more and do it And guys, my jerked cream cheese is done right there. Next thing I'm gonna do is assemble my sandwich. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, and and big listen, big up to my brand new subscribers from Boston, Matt, and your families. Big up, big up, big up. Okay, so I toast my stuff a little bit and now I just have to add my cream cheese. And you put a liberal amount of cream cheese, guys. This is why, why you know, this is one of the things that it, the, the dish is actually um, famous for. You put a liberal amount of cream cheese and, and then you start piling on your salmon. Yeah, you notice when I touch the salmon, when I do not do the salmon, because I like it in, in this state. My wifey, however, likes it a little bit more on the cook side, because the smoked salmon is is actually just that, smoked, but it's not um, cooked, all right? Then you're going to add some onions, and I'm using Vadelia onions here, yeah? And you add the amount but the onion is crisp it's sweet it's almost like um like you're eating apple with a little onion flavor and then the other side you put a little bit more cream cheese yes sir all right and see let me turn it back right way now. yes see that's your bagel with jerked cream cheese yeah, let me tip it up here yeah? and smoke salmon, right? And the next one we're gonna do now, we're gonna show you a variation on it because what the wifey says now is that she wants hers to be a little bit toasted, you see? So when you toast it, it's actually cook you cook it still, you know, just a little bit in the microwave. And so you do the same exact thing that you did before. You put on your cream cheese. And this is one of them bagels that we, we, the whole the whole seal up. <laughs> what about pesto? You, you, you want pesto on it? It's up to you, you know. It's up to you. I don't know how it tastes with pesto, but we can always try. And you put on your your onions. Put on your Vidalia onions. Oh, I put my onions first. It, it, it did not matter. Just to flip this, flip this something over and the same thing up. Flip this up. Oh, okay. And then you put down your salmon, and as you as you see, this one has been toasted a little bit. And then you put your cream cheese down. And again, folks, if, if you want to try pesto in it, you can. See, we have some pesto here. The wife loves pesto. We can't stand it sometimes, but she loves it. Yeah? And you put on your cream cheese and your thing shell. So see that? Jerked. Cream cheese, smoked salmon, bagel, and you understand? So you guys, again, it's all about trying new things. The new year is coming up, and hey, we want to make sure that we start out by not having any hindrances or blockages to our future. We'll try everything. From me and my family, to all my subscribers, to every single person who watches us and uh, comments and shares our video, we want to say happy new year to you guys thanks a million for your support for liking sharing watching my videos 
many more things to come for the new year big up to you guys from yadi belly's household to yours have a merry merry new year christmas everything valentine's easter and everything remember <laughs>